All right, I've got a uh, pretty interesting project today. Um, so my wife likes to do these diamond paintings, right? Uh, now this one isn't what they would call a full drill, uh, which basically means a full drill, I think, if, if I'm not mistaken, is when there's little diamonds throughout the whole picture, whereas this one just has the pattern of this elephant here, and then the rest of the canvas is uh, just a printed pattern. Uh, she doesn't really like the uh, non-full drill ones because they look kind of plain. And so I thought, since she did this one, I figured I can cut this pattern out and uh, put it in Inside something like this little wooden wreath form which I've painted black and sealed and everything so I can cut this out and put it inside here and fill this with resin so the idea is go about a third of the way deep with some uh, some colored resin so you've got a nice background and then come up about another third of the way, maybe a little less than that, uh, with some clear, and then go ahead and glue this on top of that clear layer. And the reason I want a clear layer between the color and this is just because that clear layer is going to give this a lot more depth. It's going to make it a lot more, uh, it's going to pop out a lot more. And then on top of that first clear layer, and on top of this, hit it with another layer of clear resin. Uh, so that's the plan. Color-wise, for the background, I think I'm going to use uh, maybe some kind of purple mixed with blue. Uh, probably some glitter or something mixed in with all of it. And so I've got this sealed already. I've already sealed this with Mod Podge which is a good idea. You want to do that because, especially if you're doing like a full diamond painting in resin, you want to seal it because there's all kinds of these little pores here inside the fabric, and that's going to create a lot of bubbles. So I only sealed the elephant part, uh, just because that's the only part I'm going to use in resin anyways. I'm just going to cut this whole pattern out and just use the elephant. Um, also, in order to hold the resin in here, obviously I need a, a backing on it, and I'm just going to use sticky vinyl paper uh, to cover this so I can get my first layer of resin on there. And once that first layer of resin's cured, I can peel the backing off anyway. Uh, so this is going to be, resin-wise, it's going to be presumably a three three-layer process. Uh, but first, what I'm going to have to do is go ahead and cut this guy out and then uh, put my backing on here and then I'll be ready to pour the resin. So I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera and then uh, we'll jump straight into the uh, pouring of the first layer here. <laughs>
All right, so it's all done. And I got to say, it's looking great. It's looking pretty good. The camera really doesn't do it justice, uh, mainly because of all the reflection and shining from all my lights here. But uh, yeah, it looks great. Uh, the back even looks kind of cool, but the back's not really going to be seen. Uh, as you can see, I've got this little picture hangy thing on there, so it can go up on the wall. And actually, this is, I forgot to mention in the beginning of the video, this is actually going to be a gift for my wife's mom for Mother's Day. Because uh, she likes elephants. And so, my wife actually bought the uh, diamond painting with the intention of doing it and giving it to her mom. And uh, then I kind of said, hey, well, you know, I could probably cut the elephant out and put it in resin and do do something with it. And so I did. And luckily, I didn't f*** it up. Um, <laughs> I was real worried about that because, I mean, I guess if I did, if it did mess up, I could have, uh, we could have bought another diamond painting and she could have <laughs> hurried up and uh, did another one, but that would have been quite a bit of trouble. Because uh, once you get it in the resin, there's no getting it out. So... Once I poured that last layer of resin on there, there was kind of no going back. So luckily it turned out good. The only, um, the only thing I would change in the future when I do this kind of thing with diamond paintings and stuff is I do feel like I should have sealed the diamond painting a little more, a little better. Uh, I did... I think two coats of Mod Podge on it. That's all I really did. I laid it on pretty thick, but there were there must have been some spots missed because I did get quite a bit of little micro bubbles coming out of the little crevices there, and uh, that would have been remedied by sealing it a little better. Also, probably would have helped to uh, seal the back of the uh, canvas too. Other than that, um, which I mean, the bubbles, there's still some on there. I pretty much guarantee the camera ain't going to pick that up. You got to look really close to see those little micro bubbles. And it's not a big issue. Uh, but mainly because for about an hour or two after I poured this, this top layer, I was uh, going at it pretty heavy with the uh, poker to try and get all those little micro bubbles out of there. But uh, all in all, it looks great. Uh, I really like the way the colors turned out. Um, thing is, sometimes I've, I've found with resin, when I do this kind of thing where I swirl the colors and stuff, it doesn't exactly cure the way um, in the pattern that it looks when it's wet. It doesn't necessarily cure that way. Um, the resin kind of settles and, you know... It kind of does its own thing. And a lot of times it'll kind of blur around the edges here. But I think that actually looks nice on this. Um, but yeah, just uh, if you're pouring resin like that and trying to do the swirls and stuff, just keep in mind when it cures, it's not going to look exactly like it looked when you poured it wet. Uh, it changes a little bit, sometimes for better, sometimes for worse. Um, I got lucky this time. Looks pretty good. And uh, again, the back is interesting. As you can see, I put this uh, little rope around here. I did that just because it seemed kind of empty with just the elephant. And I wanted to do something around the edge here. Uh, I was trying to think of something to maybe put in this empty space here, but I couldn't really think of anything that would go well with it. Nothing that I have anyway. So I just went ahead and poured it and then hot glued this rope all the way around it. But again, turned out good. Also, I, um, I should have 
waited for the glue to dry a little more. I just used this uh, spray adhesive. I should have let it dry a little more before I poured on top of it because after a while the uh, the trunk here did start lifting up a bit and I had to push it down a couple times uh, but then it stayed right right in place just fine after that again I should have I should have uh, been a little more patient and waited for the glue to dry so this was firmly on that uh, first clear layer but all in all, turned out great. I'm really glad because I didn't want to ruin this. Um, again, in the future, when I when I uh, when I put diamond paintings in resin in the future, I'm definitely going to uh, seal them a little better. Maybe use something other than Mod Podge. Try to find something better. They do make diamond painting sealer. I think my wife has some. I just don't know where it's at. So maybe I should have used that, but it turned out fine. I just had to do extra duty on bubble patrol, popping all the bubbles. But anyway, that's the video. Hope you enjoyed and see you next time.